Dimitris Avramopoulos was the European Commissioner for Migration and Security at the time of the 2015 crisis and is very critical of EU governments then and now. There's a new migration pact in train. I asked him what he thinks it's trying to achieve. Given my experience, I can tell that there are some problems to overcome. Some governments prefer looking only inwards, ignoring their historical responsibilities and turning their back to our common EU values, such as the rule of law, solidarity and shared responsibility. And solidarity, you will agree with me, in all dictionaries have the same interpretation. So I'm afraid that if we give priority to national politics, it will be very difficult to adopt a common stance on migration. By that yes. you mean the mandatory relocation of refugees, which was something that was agreed earlier, but is now being rejected? It was agreed in the year 2015. I was there as responsible commissioner and it worked for some time. But then some countries, some governments, it's better to make a distinction between the government and the country, decided to play the national game. So they were looking inwards, so they started building fences, and I referred directly to Hungary at that time. And one after the other, the member states started adopting the same policy. So yes, it worked at that time, relocation and also resettlement. But it seems that now we are again in a very, very complicated situation. Let's hope that in Europe, decisions will be made in order to finish once and forever with that because we have entered the era of human mobility. It's not only for Europe, it's for the whole world. And the European Union should be the leader in addressing this challenging issue that covers the whole planet. If you accept that idea that this is the era of human mobility and certainly more people are moving about the world than ever before, is the Dublin Convention one of the biggest problems facing the EU? This idea that, that only the country in which an asylum seeker first applies for asylum is responsible for either accepting or, or rejecting the claim. It puts an awful lot of pressure on the countries where people first arrive. You have a point there, but the Dublin uh, died in the year 2015 and 16. And then we all said that we need a new Dublin. Now with the new pact, I'm afraid that Dublin will uh, come back from the back door. I said before, it's important all member states should see this situation with the same glance. Is the difficulty the politics that actually voters are not keen on migration? They want to see Europe taking a tougher line and actually politicians are looking to their electorate for the signal to take. Yes. Unfortunately, populism and nationalism are on the rise. So it is up to the leadership of Europe right now to take a very, very clear stance on that and the initiatives. It's not only the European institutions. It has to do also with the governments of the member states of the European Union. Most of them, they are turning back to national policies. I remind you that Europe is not a federal system, and this is our problem and European countries do not speak with one voice. In front of these challenges, if they don't do so, we risk to revert to the past. But can any national politician afford to ignore an electorate which is fearful of its own living standards, of its own future prosperity, and doesn't necessarily feel that now is the moment to share? If the wise leadership after the Second World War was thinking the same, we would have never made the European Union. So we need strong leaders who do not care about the political cost. They serve the common good, the European good, and the principles upon which Europe is built. So it is a question of leadership. That's uh, former EU Commissioner Dimitris Avramopoulos.